In this demo, I'm going to walk you through creating a storage account using the Azure portal. From the search box, I'm going to type storage and click on storage accounts. From here, I'm going to click on create. So I'll select my subscription. I'll select my resource group. Next, I'll need to give my storage account a unique name. This name is used to generate a public URL to access the data in your account. So the name will need to be a globally unique one. So how about I call this Kazim and teach ST1. Choose a data center closest to you. And we have performance here, so you can choose between standard and premium. So in terms of cost, standard is cheaper. Uh, premium, on the other hand, uses SSD drive. So I'm going to go with standard here. So in this example, I don't have a need for geo-redundant storage. So I'll go with locally redundant storage, LRS. Click next to go to the advanced tab. So from here, I'm going to allow anonymous. This settings allows authorized users to selectively enable anonymous access on specific containers. So if I scroll down, so here you can see the access tier. Uh, the default is auth. Uh, if you need to change it to cool, you can make the change from here. Let's proceed to the networking tab. From here, we're going to ensure that we have public access to all networks enabled. The content we're going to be storing is public facing. So we need to allow access to public clients and also make sure that Microsoft networking routing is selected. This is because we want to make use of Microsoft global network, which is optimized for low latency path selection. Let's proceed to data protection tab. Here, we're going to leave this disabled as this is not necessary for our implementation right now. And we're going to uncheck all of this. Start delete lets you recover your data in cases where uh, your data are accidentally deleted or overwritten. So we don't need that here. Next is the encryption tab. So under the encryption tab, we'll maintain the default Next is tag. You can go ahead and tag things if you want. I don't have a need to tag right now, so I'm going to proceed to review this. And let's go ahead and create. And there you have it. That's how you create a storage account in Azure. See you in the next lesson.